Thesaurus, LA to the Bay, living in Los Angeles now. On June 28th, I am battling the Dead Man at TakeOver, King of the Dot Fresh Coast event here in LA at the basement. Uh, it's my first battle in LA or in Cali in a year. Really looking forward to uh, making that happen because people have been asking when it's going to be. I took this battle because the Dead Man is. Uh, He's definitely on the come up. He is, he's one of the more like notable and noticeable, like sort of rising stars in KOTD. You flew to New York to battle, do your name seven to hell. Now you back in Cali, you brought this panel on yourself. Wild, wild west. I'm gonna grab the gauge about the shelf, and then Harry Noon watch me end AM with a 12. Oh. But I don't know, I like doing I like doing things that are different. Uh, he's he's not really like anybody. That, that I've battled before. I mean, I guess he could draw similar comparisons to some cats, but it's not the truth. He's, he's, uh, he's got his own thing going, and I don't know, why, sh why shouldn't I battle an up-and-coming dude who deserves a shot? I think that I should. Disaster in Cortez is going to be ridiculous. At least it should be. I mean, I'm probably like over-hyping it in my own head, just because I'm sure, you know, everybody's expectations for this should be really high. The fact that Cortez said yes to doing it, though, in L.A. really says a lot. And I think that, like, kind of speaks as, like, a vote of confidence on his part. You know Diz owns the city when it comes to, like, the battleship. That's going to be probably the craziest one, the most heated. I'm really hyped on Lex D and, and Caddy Rod, though. That, <laughs> I think that's not only, like, a kind of an interesting style clash, uh, it'll probably be the most entertaining, like, line for line. You always know that Ron, not only does he present everything differently than other people do, but he's really fucking good at it, and, and he's one of my personal favorites to watch. Lex is another, like, sort of up-and-coming cat, um, who's way too good to be, like, doing Ground Zero to begin with. He is maybe right now, too, the most naturally funny uh, battler doing this shit. Line for line, he's hilarious. Yeah, Uno Lavos, I said that. He's hella funnier than me. Lastly, the battle that might be the best battle of the night, line for line, is JC and uh, J Pro. That's gonna be ridiculous. It's gonna be, it should be. If they disappoint me, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> Both fucking amazing writers and like line for line amazing writers. They don't fucking waste time with fillery setups and fucking three bars of build to get to a punch like J Pro's setups or punches uh, I would consider JC maybe a little more polished slightly in the battle format uh, but I, I can't call a winner on that it's it's gonna be absurd JC's riding a ton of momentum this is a big like opportunity for J Pro though so I can't call a winner today but it'll probably be the best battle of the night line for that or besides mine the dead man, you're not going to be living after this event. Um, all bullshit aside, I'm, uh, I'm going to uh, handle this pretty efficiently and pretty thoroughly. I mean, it's not something that I'm overlooking because you're, you know, whatever, a new cat on the scene who's five years older than me. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely like a mutual respect level. I know what you're capable of, so I'm just going to be better than what you're capable of. Gun talk, I got the gift of gab. It's terrible, cause I'll shoot the gift, your face ain't presentable. Case with the law magazine, extended those. Gotta be at least 50 in them clips like the expendable. The second that my shoes got laced, I jump started as the leader of this two car race. Barrel roll your convertible, it makes your rooftop change. Double barrel pull you covered in bullets to make that rooftop change. Two glocks aimed right where that fake tooth got placed while I'm saying the same prayer from the Boondock Saints. Yeah.